it started when my hubby was renovating our previous home and I was really unwell when I was reacting to all the chemicals that um, we were using in the home. So we went on a journey of discovering what a healthy home was and my hubby being a builder took it all on and with amazing passion and over the next three years we left no stone unturned and basically created our beautiful dream home and we call it Justin and Anna's Healthy Home. Yeah, when I designed the house, I focused on having a good cross-flow ventilation and I wanted to capture those natural breezes that uh, came from the east in the morning and filter through the house. And Yeah, so the house has like a gazillion windows and the purpose of that is to create, like Hubby said, to create that beautiful cross-flow. So you don't actually need the cooling and the heating to the same extent. So you have this beautiful cross-flow ventilation which reduces any chance of mold which we actually have discovered is like a massive problem in homes it's just bringing in like bringing the outdoors in like that's what hubby always said we want it to be like an indoor outdoor feel yeah. so every single room you actually see green so there's like trees galore in every single room and the design of it so we have like little breezeways throughout two breezeways throughout the home which bring in that flow which we plant plants around those breezeways and it brings in that fresh air so the quality of the air was so important because that was actually what was affecting me in the previous home the other things that really really helped the quality of the home is that we used non-toxic coating so when we did the flooring it's it's a, like a, a hardcore beautiful original floor like it's solid wood it's batten down to like it's nailed down to battens which I know you were telling me at the time was yeah. like to increase the, get the, the cross flow. flow underneath yeah. the floor, keep it nice and dry. Yeah, keep it nice and dry because yeah. getting moisture out of the home is the most important thing, keeping the, keeping the home dry. Having the most impact, we knew that having paint on every single wall and the ceiling and the glues and the resins on the floor was going to create a lot of off-gassing. So we use um, Zero Vox, which is like zero volatile organic compounds so that it's not bringing in those chemicals like for a couple of years I think it, it off gases in general we have special like an air conditioning system which has like an asthma friendly so it's like a low dust low allergen yeah. we designed the electrical like the data plan so that every single living area was basically kept further as far away from the electrical points as possible and so we've got 19 data points scattered through yeah, the house. Yeah, we've got like 19 data points so that you can plug in your laptops and your TVs so that you actually don't have to use the Wi-Fi. When you're coming up the driveway, this is where you come to retreat from the world. Mm. So we really wanted our bedroom specifically to be like nestled in the trees. So, so Hubby designed the the bedroom as like a one and a half, was it one and a half? Yes, yeah, one, one and, and a half, half stories up, or up, up meters the ground, up yeah. off, off the ground. So you're kind of floating mm -hmm. in the trees. And we had three of the walls which are glass. So again, you get that inside outside feel. Mm -hmm. And the and I always said I wanted the shower and the and the like the bath to be like you're in nature. So mm -hmm. no nothing on the windows because there's nothing out there except wallabies and trees. And you're actually yeah, you're just sitting out there relaxing in nature. We looked into the different types of solar panels we could have, and we've got yeah. some, like super efficient solar panels with actual microverters on the individual panels, so they produce a lot more electricity. Yeah. So when when we were building it, Hubby and made sure that he insulated what is it every wall, ceiling, and floor. But we do have an amazing fireplace that we all love to sit around because yeah, in the winter. <laughs> I want to create a home where it brings people together. Yes. So start like the fire is around where you, the intention of hubby creating fire with the fireplace and the fire pit was that people like to gather around fire. So it brings us as a family together. And then when you go further on from that, it'll actually bring our family and friends together. That was, mm -hmm. that was the intention for having fire. <laughs> so now that we're moving to the hinterland, what we'd love to do is actually pick this house up and take it with us, but we can't. But my beautiful hubby, as being the builder, he is actually going to create this again in, yeah. our, in our new area. So we're really excited about that. Very excited. <laughs> Bring out the hammer and tongs. And tongs. <laughs> and tongs. <laughs>